guys, it's me Cordy from Know Your Produce and today we're making a peach and banana smoothie. My son absolutely loves bananas in his smoothies. He's a little one so um, anything that we could get into a smoothie we usually do. Um, we are trialing for F-Pies which is a food protein induced enterocolitis syndrome. It's a very rare food allergy but it's a mouthful so we'll call it F-Pies. Um, my daughter had it so we have to trial with him. Um, we start off with one ingredient and then we slowly add others and smoothies are an excellent way for us to incorporate a new food. So when we were incorporating peaches we would add in um, with our banana smoothie. So usually his banana smoothie was just water and banana. Then we did water, banana, avocado, water, banana, broccoli random but the banana overpowers any flavors and he doesn't have um, any aversion to it because he tastes the banana and he's really enjoying the peach and banana soon we'll be doing oats with him so I want to test out this with oats um, but for right now this is how we've been enjoying it because I'll make some for him and then I'll add in um, our own stuff because I have it all frozen like I have tons of peaches frozen we went peach picking and got a ton of peaches um, you can see that over on our TikTok. we love to pick fruit locally um, so here we have some chia seeds I also have some oat milk we have fresh peaches that I froze in a bowl um, I also have a banana that I froze we go with like a spotted banana so you want spots on your bananas um, so that's what we're doing and now I'm just going to put this right into the blender and then I'll pour in the liquid first though because if we pour the liquid over the fresh fruit that's frozen it's going to solidify it like and it's just going to be one big thing so we'll dump that in and then we're just going to add in those chia seeds and then we're going to blend. And then we're just gonna pour our smoothie in. And you get to enjoy. So I have our smoothie in our glass. I put a little peach, you could put some banana. These are kind of ready to go in the freezer so I'm not gonna be cutting up into slices. Um, but yeah, so here you have it. Cheers, let's take a taste. Mm. You guys, if you're making baby food, this is my favorite combination for my son, and I see why he loves it so much. The oat milk adds that creaminess. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. It's really good. Mmm. The added chia seeds. It thickens it up as well um, and I really really do like to take this combination and put it into popsicles for him because if it make him a smoothie he's not gonna eat the whole smoothie right so what I do is I actually freeze it into little baby popsicles for him and he loves it he's not had it with the oat milk yet but he's gonna love it with the oat milk it adds that creaminess um, but with him he just has it with water so we kind of do baby lead weaning with him so even like if he's not eating asparagus with us or pasta or something like that. Um, even if we do a smoothie, he has a smoothie as well. So I'll make him an entire smoothie and then he'll have his own little popsicles of his smoothie, whatever's left over. And you can even actually freeze it into ice cubes and then re-blend it, but you can also make it in big batches so that everybody can enjoy it. Um, if he was allowed to have oat milk, I'd make this entire thing, but this is enough for like one to two servings. Um, depending on how big you like your serving. If you used a larger glass than this, you can actually make it one serving. It makes about 12 ounces. We hope you guys like and enjoy this recipe. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.